In this video I'll be taking a look at a Linux distribution which is aimed more at younger children. It's called Doodoo Linux. <laughs> Doodoo, it has a funny name, yeah. So yeah, Doodoo Linux version 2.1. Now it's kind of difficult for me to judge what would be ideal for young children, seeing as I don't have any kids myself. I've got three young nephews who seem to be more interested in being glued to the TV instead of the computer. But uh, just looking around at it, um, it's got a wide variety of applications which are ideal for children. It's got sort of uh, puzzle solving and drawing applications. I think there's a couple of music applications in there as well for creating their own music. It does have internet connectivity, but one ideal feature of this distro is that it's pretty well locked down. I was just playing around with it for about 15 minutes or so on the internet, and I couldn't really break out of it, its lock-ins. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Not to say it can't be <laughs> broken out completely, but uh, for the younger children, I don't think they'll find a way particularly easily. So I can put the parents' mind at ease. You know, the children are pretty well restricted on what they can do. And there's also a couple of uh, parenting administration features that they can see how long the computer's been used for. So maybe restricting the children's internet or computer usage. It does look very good. So let's take more of a look at it. This is the startup menu that you get with Doodoo Linux, and you can configure the options that you get here. If I pop in my username and password, just go across to preferences and you'll see some of the things that I get. To change the monitor settings and improve the resolution. Yeah, for some reason it keeps flicking around in here in VirtualBox. Under work you've got the computer use and you can see how long I've been using the computer so far. So one and a half hours. Okay, so let's go and leave this and we'll go back to the normal view of Doodoo Linux. And for some reason the resolution has once again shrunk. Gcompres, even more educational games here. This is very musical. The Tanagram puzzle. Try and recreate that with the shapes you got there. Huh. Welcome to G Compre. Ooh, welcome indeed. Click on each object to obtain the same figure. You can change their orientation by clicking on the arrows. There you go. That's what you meant to do. Bit more of an advanced puzzle game. There's lots more games included in this application. Let's leave that. Just going for an overview Wait. here of this distro. So this is all the applications in Doodoo Linux. So you've got uh, the variety of tabs here at the top. So you've got Learn, Work, Enjoy, Multimedia, Tune. And then on the right hand side we've got Help, a Donations Page, Network Settings, Time and Date, language selection, volume control, and the shutdown menu. To look at work, if we open up the Epiphany web browser, you've got a variety of applications which you can open from the home page. So open street map. So it's defaulted to viewing London here. So that's probably worked out where my internet connection is located. Oh, so I have to go back into Epiphany. So it's weird, sometimes if you type in the location, it doesn't always go there, so google.com Doodoo -do -do Linux thinks this page is not for children. Well it is. So if I go through DuckDuckGo, off to Google and yeah, it lets me get there. Hmm. Strange. BBC yeah, get on BBC. YouTube. Let's me on YouTube as well. But doesn't lead particularly far on YouTube. Um, yeah. Well, I know my previous video wasn't exactly suitable for children, but uh, most of my channel is. Well, some of the websites it stops you getting to. Uh, if I look at um, look at porn. I'm trying to access in some of the web pages here. Yeah, that's definitely blocked. Try another site there. Yeah, you see, it does do quite a nice job of blocking. Can we get on Wikipedia though? Ah, no. What about 
Facebook. Mm. Yes. Hmm. There's access to a whole load more games. I'm not going to read all these out. Ooh, got Super Tux. Yay. Arcade. Yeah. A few more games here. Just simple little games. Board. Yeah. A couple of card games. Logic games. Yeah. Sports. Yeah, you've got Super Tux Kart. Ooh. Quite an old version of Super Tux Kart. On multimedia, we've got a sound editor, a movie player, and not bad selection there. And tune, you've got some administration programs. Now here's what I thought of Doodoo Linux at version 2.1. So it's got a nice, fun, colourful theme. It's got an excellent selection of applications there for younger children. They've got the puzzle games, drawing, and music creation games. It's got the parental controls in place for restricting internet access. But on the downside though, it's based on a very old version of Debian, which is Debian Squeezy, so it's only suitable for older systems. And it's difficult to get the drivers installed. It was missing some essential packages like uh, bzip, um, build essentials, and the Linux headers. So it's a bit tricky there. And it's only 32-bit only, but given it's only useful for older systems, that shouldn't really be too much of a problem. So yeah, overall there, it's very easy to use. It's got a very quick boot up time there of 11 seconds. The base memory usage was very low, 145 meg. It's got an excellent selection of pre-installed applications, no proprietary codecs installed. Not an issue though, there's not even a music player installed, but you could go and install one. It's got a trim back selection of repositories. Uh, I did find one bug there with the DNS configuration settings in the Etsy resolve.conf, so it meant uh, I had a bit of trouble connecting to the internet first off, so <laughs> kind of confused me for a while. So yeah, overall, I've given this distro 80%, and yes, it's ideal for children, unlike pretty much any other distro I've reviewed this year. So thanks for watching, I'll see you later.